Hello, welcome to the Mythic Botany Mod Spotlight. So this is an end game Britannia add-on, and it adds a bunch of cool stuff. So one thing you may want to make is a mana collector. This is a way to, it's, essentially it's better than a guy mana spreader. So you need a guy ingot, so you'll need to kill the guy guardian at least once, and rune of Vanaheim. So this is sort of a fourth tier of rune, which gets added by Mythic Botany. And then you can make that. And then all you have to do it's just you have to put a recessive augment on that. Uh, so one of the things we could try is the Wither Aconite. So this is a generating flower that's added. So, and what this will do is actually going to transfer from nether stars directly into mana. If we just throw a nether star down, you can see it's going to start to fill up the pool. And if you look at actually the speed at which the pool is filling up, you can see it's much, much quicker than normally. Like that is already, that's going to be full probably in about 30 seconds, right? So much, much faster to fill up a pool than normal. So these flowers also are available in the floating variant. So if we look at this petal apothecary here, you can see there's nothing in it. And you can see this is going to automatically fill up the petal apothecary with water, similar to say an Everfall urn, something like that. So I'm not going to show this one, I haven't got Feywild installed, but if you get some Fey Dust and you have Feywild installed, you can use that to generate mana. And we also have the Rain Delicia, so this is going to generate mana when it's raining or thundering, gets even more mana. So Mythic Botany adds this item, the Mana Infuser, which is an advanced terrestrial agglomeration plate. If we take a look, you can see we're going to need some Elementian, various runes, also Rune of Asgard, which is going to require a Rod of the Bifrost. So we can take that if we take a look at the uses here you can see this is going to be used to make with alf glass some bifrost blocks which can also be then turned into shimmer rock you can then combine the shimmer rock with some gold and that's going to create the mana infuser structure at this point we can put down a dragonstone elementium and a pixie dust with a spark on top with a dominant augment and that's going to create Alf Steel. Yeah, so it does use two full mana pools, so quite a lot of mana. So you can also create the double Alf Steel ingot, which is just two Alf Steel with a mana powder. And from here, for instance, we can do, say, a Terra Shatterer, and it's actually going to maintain the rank, and that can be upgraded into in the smithing table. And for armor pieces, you do need to use that double ingot to upgrade that. And you can see there's a range of different ones. So the Alpha Blade, it's got pretty fast attack speed, pretty high damage. You can also make the greatest band of mana and the greatest band of ore in a similar way. The Alpha Blade has a cool particle effect. You can see it, just how quickly you can swing it. If we take a look at the Alpha Truncator, it has a tree capitator effect. Uh, I've put on the Alpha Steel armor. You can see some of the stuff it does speed, swim speed. Uh, reach distance as well. So you can see the speed there. If we perhaps combine that with the Globetrotter's Sash as well, that's going to actually let you move around pretty fast. If you really want to do the maximum sort of speed with this, we could take the Nimbus Amulet. That's going to give you that triple jump. And we could also try the Flugel Tiara as well. So that is probably your best bet in terms of maxing out everything. We're also going to need the Alf Steel Pylon for the Gaia Guardian fight. And you'll notice that the, the Alf Steel Pylon can actually accept mana and that is used to repair your tools. At this point you're going to probably want to get the Rune Tablet of Finbold tier. This is from the second Gaia Guardian fight. And you're going to need to get a Master Rune Holder. And these are the rituals, right? So you're going to need to get a bunch of the different runes. I haven't seen all of them yet, but you can see they're all requiring later tier runes. and See, these are some of the other ones, right? And essentially, you need to place these rune holders and rune into a certain pan. So I'll start with this one, which is going to get the blood of Kvasir. This actually lets you go to Alfheim. So you can see you're going to need a few things. These are fairly straightforward to make. You do need a wandering trader nearby. We've also got some of these advanced runes. And then we need to place them down with the rune holders. Okay, so we're going to place down the master rune holder. And we're going to go one, two, three. And we're going to do... 
two on that side, and then one, two, three, and a two like that, and then we can just fill in the diagonals. And then we want to do opposite here, so do that. And with that, I'll do it the other way around this time. So there's the pattern. Now we need to get the items. And the final thing we have to do is you have to throw the horn of the wild in here. It's going to get you the yellow horn. So with the yellow horn, you're going to need the branch of Yggdrasil. And you can put the yellow horn in there. Uh, so once that's done, you can take, and then here you can see you've got the water from the Well of Mimir. And that gives you this advancement. And then if we get our Wandering Trader back, you can see we've still got our, we've got our four items there. Uh -huh. And there you go. Uh -huh. So you get a lot of your stuff back. Uh -huh. And this is what you want, the blood of Kvasir. We take the blood of Kvasir, you put it with a honey bottle, you're going to get the mead of Kvasir. And you'll notice, obviously, that you can't do it much with this thing at the moment. But then as soon as you drink this, it now turns into an actual portal. Which is kind of crazy when you think about how long Britannia's been out. And you can see it's actually got the uh, Garden of Glass world on it as well. So here you can see in Alfheim, you can see we've got the Alfheim Pixie. And they're going to drop uh, Pixie Dust. See, we've got a bunch of different flowers. If we actually take a look at some of the blocks as well, we've got Golden Grass. Even the forestry trees are actually spawning in here in the latest version. So that's cool as well. Another thing you might notice in this dimension is we're going to have some Bifrost blocks with some Mana Pools. We've got some petal apothecaries. Sometimes they have petals in them. If we take a look underground in the sort of desert biome, there's a huge amount of gold here. You can see if we look at some of the underground areas here, there's some elementian ore. So all the ores, like the dragonstone, take a look at some of these hills as well. It's kind of interesting. A lot of living rock in there. In this, in our farm, we've got the Alfheim hills, the lakes, the plains. But if we want to find the one sort of structure in here, we have to go to the Golden Fields. You can find this, the Cursed Ring of Andwari. And this will turn into, you need to do a rune ritual for this with a similar process to what we saw before. You think that will give you the Ring of Andwari. The only other ritual is to get uh, Mjolnir, which is a big hammer. And again, just a slightly more advanced ritual. So for instance, with the Ring of Andwari, every time you place a gold block, you're going to get a gold item. You can sort of see that happening there. And with the hammer, what we're going to want to do is, you can see we've got this enchantment uh, hammer mobility. So we're going to want to have, we need to, you can only wield it if you've got absorption. So we might take a flask of shielding, for example. So we'll give it hammer mobility five. And you can see it's actually a boomerang. It does actually go through blocks. So for instance, we can throw it back. Uh, if we wanted to take on some cows as well. It will return. We, we can also use left click, of course. It's just going to do a large amount of damage. So 25 attack damage, 1.5 attack speed with hammer mobility 5. Now, if we didn't have the... You can see, without absorption, you can't actually carry the hammer. And it will just remain like that. So we also have some functional flowers. So this is going to activate rituals. So we also got this uh, flower, the hellbore. This will stop. <coughs> see, you can see it working there. The piglin is walking around normally. <coughs> Only when it gets out of range does it start to do its shaky thing, which means it's going. <coughs> but you can see here it's being affected by the hellbore. This lets you have, and the same is also true of the hoglins as well. We take a look at this brewing stand here. We place down an Exo Blaze. You can see the brewing stand is now getting some energy. We break some of the Dreamwood leaves here. You can see we've got there a Dream Cherry. This gives you good food and good saturation. So 
you get glowing as well. And finally, the Ring of Niflheim. This just gives a slowness effect, oh. as you can see that. So, thanks for watching.